Anita's out here getting her surgery done. Staying strong. Budget glass repair. Um, it was so far one of the cheapest places I got quoted at. Finally being somewhere that isn't stupid expensive like Midland, Texas or a big city, so that's pretty good. The guy who fixed the windshield last time, he does good work cheap, but he lives all the way up in our Kansas City, Kansas, where my grandparents live. So it's gonna be, it would have been a while to actually get up there. It's just easier this way just to get it done now. It's been needing done for a, lot, a while now and I'm finally getting it done. glass hasn't been done in a long time and now it's about to rain up oh, I felt that on my face <laughs> Ooh, and they even got that in there that's perfect because I was gonna ask them to do that I'm gonna head to CJ's coffee I guess Alexis's location is 303. It's gonna be hey, right by the, um... Hey, Chubba. I'm taking out to my car real quick. I'm gonna be right back. Wow. Yo. Yo. It's kind of weird because the mannequins she has them hanging on are like a female shape, <laughs> so it's like, it looks a little odd. But the shirt itself, it would look different on a male mannequin. Fancy variety. And purple. I like this one, I like the blue. The green one, I love the, that one's actually, I have to say that's probably my favorite. Storage room. This set up. If you want to put the packages that want to go to the post office in here for me, you see that? Look awesome. This one will be the screen print will be kind of like it, but it won't be like you won't see the white. The edges. Yeah. yeah. That's just because I wanted to make you a sample. It probably won't be as rough and it won't be glittery. I was gonna say I was like I kind of like the glitter on the night, but I feel like yeah. it'd be a little odd for the. Yeah, for I that know, I, that's why I picked the night one. <laughs> I was like, let me do the night one. <laughs> so Alexis. Um, she printed a few demos for me. They're a little bit different than how the official ones are gonna be. She said once she gets more shirts in, she's gonna play with them and different things. If you saw the uh, the bleached shirts, those are like her signature thing. I'm not sure what people will think of those, but I asked her if she can make a few since that's what she usually makes. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna definitely wear these. I'm gonna flaunt my stuff, you know? And the quality of the shirts, I can already tell you, looks way better than what I was using before through Teespring. Having these shirts, I'll be able to be a little bit more direct with you guys. I'll be able to guarantee better quality. And also, I'll be able to do a little bit of unique stuff. Working with her would, give, would be a big opportunity for me, I think. So Bruce was actually the guy who made the logo. Shane, my glasses, I'm gonna go blind. Okay, so Bruce was actually the guy who made the logo for my channel, and uh, I think he did an incredible job. I've had a few people be like, you copied Jake's logo, and actually I didn't. Bruce copied it. Alright, this is actually Bruce's rig. Bruce from Portland. If anybody has the right to make a homage to Jake's channel, it would be Bruce. He has a lot of connections. It's gonna be, he's a pretty cool guy. And I told him that I had kind of a surprise for him. I really wanted to order him a shirt but I wanted to make it a little more personal so I told him that I was gonna order him a shirt once I get it I was gonna sign it and send it to him now I got my shirts like um over a month ago and I never sent it to him I'm really bad at shipping I still need to ship off some stuff I've been very lazy very behind but this is the shirt that I ordered for him this is from Teespring maroon it's got his logo on it but now I also have these and these are gonna be the new shirts Oh no! The sticker! This is Alexis. Alexis's sticker. It's 
cool. I might put that on the side of my Jeep. This is the little demo she did. Now she told me that the logos are a lot smaller than typically. She's going to make them larger, kind of like if you compare. This is her demo. Probably more what we're gonna be shooting for is this, this size or whatever. But she was just trying to like kind of give me an idea of what they would look like. Now I have these. These are her standard bleach shirts. The logos are still small, but look at that. Very unique, very cool, and more breathable than the previous options. The only issue with this is that if you guys want them like this with the more breathable material, we have to go with this cool design, but I mean, putting it on some of the darker colors, like a more military color, I think they look pretty cool. So we have that. That being said, I'm going to sign this unique shirt here and unique shirt here. And then I will get them sent off to you, Bruce. I'm so sorry that it took so long. Now that I have this whole packaged and ready to go, you can expect it between the next two to three years. I'm sorry, I, I suck at mailing stuff. Okay, I was gonna be completely honest, I was actually going to be lazy. I was actually not gonna ship off any of my stuff, I was just gonna wait again, but then I, I decided I need to, you know, have a little bit of self-discipline. I was like, no, I've been holding this off for way too long. My 70D has been broken for way too long. I want it fixed. I want this camera here to be my backup. I want my 70 back as my main camera. I need to get my GoPro fixed and I need to get those shirts sent to Bruce. So I put my foot down, I got it all shipped. Uh, it cost like 75 bucks to do everything. So that kind of sucked, but it's all shipped now. It's just another stress like, that was something that was always bothering me. Like it was always in the back of my mind, oh, this is something else I gotta do today. I had like a checklist of things that need done and that was something and now it's checked off my list. So yes, it was very expensive, but now I don't have to worry about it. Now that I've got all this stuff done, I'm gonna head back to Durant and it's Friday. So I'm expecting today to actually be pretty busy. Since tomorrow's Saturday, and then there's Sunday. Those are gonna probably be the, my three busiest days, which means if I have any chance to try to get back on getting payment, it'll be those three days. I did not make as much money as I wanted to make, and I've spent a lot of money, a lot more than I was hoping to, getting the windshield fixed, buying that tent, solar panel. I spent probably a good thousand something dollars this week, guys, plus the gas. I gotta make some of that money back if I'm gonna go to Colorado. Time to get to work. Let's do it. I already made it to Durant. It's really not a far drive. It was maybe 30 minutes. It's not that far of a town. I'm just too lazy to drive. Weird for someone who travels all the time. But now that I'm here, I kind of wanted to go to the Anytime Fitness, take a shower real fast, but I guess it's already. It's already busy down here in Durant. So I'm just gonna start dashing, see if it's good enough. start dashing in an hour so it's not letting me dash now that's okay it'll be busier I'm gonna go to the anytime fitness and take a shower 
I forgot. I showed this to all of my Patreon supporters, but I forgot to show it to uh, my regular viewers. This is my new suitcase. Recently bought. It's a hard shell carry-on. It's actually made by Coleman. Um, this is my new main suitcase. I wanted a hard shell. I almost bought one before I left on the trip, but um, I ended up not getting it. I couldn't find one that I liked, and I also couldn't find one for a decent price. My duffel bag ended up just being kind of in the way a lot. It would spread out and do weird stuff, and I want to really kind of squeeze everything down, make it easier. I still need to reorganize the Jeep. I have like ideas of how I want it. I just haven't really gotten to it. You know, ta-da. No, seriously, thank you a lot, Alexis. These are awesome. I really appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce to you the most incredible thing that you will see all day. The incredible world's largest peanut. Yeah, it's a little like anticlimactic. Anticlimactic. Anti Does that even count? I mean, I'm not a like peanut professional, but I think that's made of metal. So what happens if I make a peanut like bigger than that out of metal? It's made out of metal, so if I make one bigger, then I would have the world's largest peanut. If anyone's here is really good with metal, make one bigger than that, throw it in their face. I had absolutely no idea who any of those people were. I just saw a Jeep and they had Jeeps. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna park right next to them. Turns out it's a group of women. They're having a girls night out or whatever. Having a whole squad of Jeeps, I don't know what would be cooler than that, especially for a girls night out. More power to them. It's already like three o'clock. I've been doing DoorDash in the morning. A one wheel would have gotten over that easy. DoorDash just slowed down and I was already here this morning, but I'm gonna go back to the Opera House of Coffee to get some coffee. Again, 